Hello everybody, Kai Waza with you. Welcome back to my channel. Just finishing up my second and a half cup of coffee. <laughs> it's like 1230 in the afternoon. I kind of had a late start today, which is good. I needed a good day to like sleep in late and that was today. Mm. So what we're here today for is a video, a kind of video I haven't done in quite a while. Um, which is a uh, an empties video, not candles empties, but something I started. I've done a couple of them, and I guess I guess I'm just going to continue. I don't know. People seem to watch it. I like watching other people's. Uh, these are household and personal care product empties. So things you you know use in the uh, personal care, in the restroom, shampoos and stuff like that, and then just stuff that you use in the house. And we'll just chat a little bit along the way while we're having our coffee and all of that. So let's just get started. And I'm going to show you first household empties. I don't have too much. Um, I have, let's see, this laundry detergent that I used up. This is like a store brand. Yeah, great value. Whose store brand is this? I don't remember great value. Is it Walgreens or somebody's? I don't remember. I don't remember where I got this, but I, I got it because it's cheap. I think it was Walgreens. I got it because it was cheap. There was a good sale and I got like two or three of these and this was the last one that I used. Um, I don't always, but I do prefer to use, uh, what you call it, little um, packs, laundry packs, um, just because, you know, we have a washer and dryer units in the in the building, at the back of the building, and I would just prefer to take a, not lug around these giant containers of uh, detergent, just take a pack. But I do sometimes get, like right now, I'm using one that's not a pack kind, it's in a container. But anyway, these were all right. Um, nothing special. It's Original Clean Ultimate Fresh Laundry Packs. Um, I can't even remember the scent, to be honest with you. Kind of like Gain, I think, is what it is. It's that kind of color, too. Uh, but it was fine. I mean, you know, it worked okay. Okay, this is some uh, dish soap <laughs> that is a, I guess it's, this is a store brand. Is America Fresh a store brand? This is, we picked this up at the grocery store. Um, actually, we got this when I had had my foot surgery and I was sort of hobbling around and one of my friends uh, picked me up and we went grocery shopping and there was, I think it was a follow-up or some place I had to go, but yeah, that's what it was, like a, a doctor's thing. And then she took me to the grocery store. And we just kind of split up, like she got half the things and I got half the things. And, um, you know, we went our separate ways to get the things for me. And I just told her for a dish soap, like, just get whatever's cheap because I don't care. Like, I'm not that brand loyal of a person. So, like, just get whatever's on sale or whatever's cheap. It's okay. And normally it's fine. And this is what she came back with, um, America's Fresh Citrus Ultra. But now I have to tell you this was not good <laughs> i did this brand here or this of dish soap anyway i wouldn't get it again um it smelled nice it is a citrus set it's pretty green and all that um didn't suds up that much and it didn't really clean that well i mean normally you know it really s separates the grease out and whatever and i felt like this wasn't really cleaning that well I had to really kind of work extra hard to make this clean something or use an extra lot of it so I would not personally yeah I wouldn't get it again America's Fresh mm. then I went through uh, these Jordan's skinny syrups are showing up at at all of the uh, discount you know TJ Maxx and Ross and those places by the cartload I'm eagerly awaiting the fall ones to come out because they're great. But I've just been backstocking a lot of them because I love to have this in my coffee um, and sometimes in drinks or whatever also. But it's just, you know, sugar-free, zero calories. This one, uh, and I love them all. Although th what I say about this one, cinnamon vanilla, is I do like this the least of any of the ones I've had. The cinnamon vanilla to me was not really very cinnamony and not really very vanilla-y. Like it just didn't 
seemed, it was a very light flavor. It didn't seem to have much intensity. Usually these things, whatever flavor they are, I mean, use a little bit and it just adds a really great flavor to it. Like I really love the flavor it adds to the coffee. And this one just didn't seem to add that much to it. So cinnamon vanilla, again, is one I would not pick up again. Um, but the other, every other kind I've had from uh, Skinny Syrups, I really liked, but this has been the first one that didn't really um, seem to add a lot of flavor or sweetness to the coffee. Um, then finally in household, I used up this Hem incense. Um, this stuff, I ordered this on, U on uh, YouTube. <laughs> I order it on uh, eBay and it comes like in a big container that has like, I don't know, a dozen or something of these packages in it. And I guess I've gone through all of this one. I burn um, incense every night. Sometimes I burn it during the day too, but I burn incense every night and um, specific kinds of incense that are supposed to be, uh, you know, cleansing and to clear the atmosphere of bad juju and bad vibes and whatever, and to create sort of a nice safe a space to go to sleep in. So every night, I burn and frankincense is one of those scents. There are some other ones too. And I have a variety of them and I just burn a different kind every night when I'm going to bed um, for what it's worth. And this one, I like frankincense better than some of the other scents that I have. So this is the last one. I don't think I have any more. So I'll probably order some more frankincense because it smells good. And surprisingly, I don't know if you've ever gone on eBay or tried to order incense, you know, through something like that. But I, I would have thought there would have been like a hundred million companies making incense that they would sell on eBay, but there's not. Um, there's three or four, like really, basically, that's it. So, Hem is good. Comes out of India. I will say once they sent me completely the wrong kind, which turned out to be okay because it was something I could use anyway, but... They, uh, oh, it was this. Actually, it was Frank. Because I this was before I started burning incense every night. I ordered rain or something like that that smelled so good. And it, they sent me a giant box of frankincense. But it was okay. And it turned out to be what I needed to clean the juju, the bad juju. So, there. Now, we move on to... <laughs> yeah, that's that. That's it for household. Now, we move on to personal care products. Hello. Won't you come and sit beside me near this large aqua colored poofy thing and listen to the easy listening records of Moody Mood Music on live at 365.com. Yes, Moody Mood Music is the radio station that salvages and saves neglected vinyl records such as myself, from thrift stores and dollar record bins, and gives us a new life and a new audience to be enjoyed all around the world. Lush records, lush singers, beautiful strings. We'll hear it all if you'll just come and join me by this gigantic aqua poofy thing and tune in to Moody Mood Music on live365.com. The link is below in the description. And first, I'm going to show you some minis because, I don't know, I made this realization when I went on this trip that I went on in the summer um, that I have a lot of, like, little travel size and little thingies that, you know, you're always getting them and grabbing them and saying, oh, I'm going to use it when I go on my trip and I'm going to use it when I go here or go there. And then you get there and they always have stuff in the hotel already or on the ship or whatever. And I tend to use what's there. Go like, well, I guess I don't really need to bring any. So you end up kind of amassing, I do, these little, these amounts of little containers of things um, that are gonna, they're gonna get like a thousand years old, you know what I mean? So I thought I'm gonna, it's kind of a project to use some of that stuff up. So I have a lot of little travel size things that I'm just starting to go through them and mix them in with my regular stuff as I'm using them. So I did get through a couple of things. Um, this little sample of Crabtree and Evelyn Verbena and Lavender Body Lotion. This is lovely. This is a really nice, that's such a nice scent. And it was really a nice quality um, hand or lotion, excuse me, body lotion. I really liked it. 
I would get it if I see it for cheap someplace. Crabtree and Evelyn, probably not gonna see it. Do we even have Crabtree and Evelyn stores? We don't have one here. We used to have a beautiful one at Alamoana. Years ago, I loved Crabtree and Evelyn. Like back when I was broke and I never had any money, so I could hardly ever buy anything there. Um, they were here and now that I could get some of their stuff, they're gone. I don't know. Uh, a couple of Bath and Body Works things. Like I have 10,000 of these things that I just need to use them. I mean, I'm putting them in my bag and make it a point to like be using them a lot more. So I went through an amber blush, which is a thousand years old. And it's so this smells so good. And you know, it really dawned on me this time using it that this smells so much like my favorite uh, Bath and Body Works scent of all time, which is Dark Kiss. This amber blush is actually pretty similar to that scent. Not exactly, but it, it's kind of similar. I would just say Dark Kiss has more of a little plum scent added to it, but it's very close to this. Uh, Winter Candy Apple, I think we know, is just, you know, like, it's a candy apple. What is wintry about candy apples? I don't know. To me, I associate them with the summer because that's what you would, to me, I would get candy apples like at the fair, right? Or the fall too. I love to make um, like those caramel apples or the ones you can make at home. They used to sell like several years ago, they sold kits in the grocery stores here. And I would get one at Halloween time that you could wrap in what did you do? Did you just wrap it and put it in the microwave? I don't even remember what you did, like how you did it, but I had them, little kits that they made caramel apples and it was super good. I haven't seen those in several years. I used up a pocket back uh, from Bath & Body Works sanitizer, Pina Colada, such a good scent. I love these little hand sanitizers from Bath & Body Works because the smell of, and I have a million different, whatever kind they have, I get just different kinds. Or whatever the scent is, and this is just such a nice pineapple scent um, that you open it up, put it on your hands, and like if you're on the bus, the city bus, like it fills the entire city bus. Like you can, you can see everybody just goes, hmm, hmm. Like what is that lovely smell? So I love those things. And I used up this little uh, body powder of Gold Bond Medicated. I should have looked this up. Medicated. Uh, baby powder like what makes it medicated how is this just different from any other you know baby powder that would just be for keeping yourself dry or smelling nice or whatever uh something i do i don't know if you've ever done this but i love to uh it's a hint a hint you know like nice practice best practice for yourself um, I do love the scent of uh, baby powder and the way it feels. And sometimes when I go to bed, it's just the nicest thing to, in addition to like putting a little baby powder on other places, is just spread some, puff your little chest out with some uh, baby powder when you're going to bed. And it's just, it's like the nicest scent when you're laying there, that little baby powder. But anyway, used up one of those. And I got these at Walmart on clearance a while back. They were like 25 cents. Head and Shoulders Supreme Nourishing Scalp and Hair Mask. Relieves dry scalp and nourishes hair. I had got this when I, previously when I had had like this facial hair and it was kind of getting flaky and I was having issues with it and I thought, I'm going to try this. But then I got these, but then I shaved it all off like as soon as I got these things. So I use this uh, and I have like three or four more packages, so I'll have to try it now. But I just used it as a conditioner and it was fine. Um, nothing, you know, spectacular, but I don't have flaky hair anyway, so I can't tell you whether it was worked in that respect. But I'll tell you later because I'll use it on my on my uh, mustache and beard and stuff, which does get flaky. So we'll see on the next one. Been through a couple chapsticks really quick. Some, uh, cause I'm using, I'm using like 20 chapsticks at any given time. So I don't go through any individual one for a while. Uh, Bliss Tex fruit smoothie. This was super nice. This one I really, really, really loved. It had like a, it's not gonna focus on that. It had a, a definitely like that honeydew and that, uh, what's the green one? The green melon scent. I mean, uh, yeah, the green melon. Mmm, so good. And then I had this Carmex one that's so old and so used up that I can't even, the label's kind of gone, but it was a, a like a lemon lime one. It was good too. 
but oh, that melon fruit smoothie one was insanely good. I went through, let's see, this is uh, like, I guess I should clean these empties, right? Before I'm showing them. I thought it said flame resistant when I looked at it. I'm like, what, who, why would, I mean, deodorant and antiperspirant is flame resistant. Fade resistant scent technology, Old Spice Nomad. I love Old Spice. I love how they're, they've sort of like really recreated this very 1970s thing, like where they've really claimed their, I love it, where they've claimed who they are very much and started doing all these different scents of Old Spice, like, you know, location scents, uh, all these like, werewolf sort of sense and I don't know if you you know noticed any of that going on with Old Spice and their body washes and their everything they're they're just like really owning their brand and I love it Nomad um and it's fine you know antiperspirant deodorant I just love all those crazy names and crazy super hyper masculine scents because they're all like hyper masculine really it's kind of funny uh Chic Extreme uh, Shaving Cream. Yeah, it works, right? Uh, oh, this one was for sensitive skin. Okay, I was gonna say, what was the scent? I don't even, for sensitive skin. Well, I didn't nick myself using this, so I guess it must be okay. I don't know. Uh, shower Gel, one of my favorite scents of all time, well, my favorite scent of all time from Bath & Body Works is Dark Kiss. And they do, uh, you know, bring it back every so often. And at semi-annual sales, you can pick up. Never candles. They never, ever do a freaking candle. They did one like 10 years ago. And they've never done one since. And I never did have it. So, And I'm not going to pay some crazy price on eBay to get it. But uh, I need an old one. Not going to. But uh, Dark Kiss. Oh, love this scent. I wish they would do candles in it. But you can pick it up at semi-annual sales usually. Um, shower gel and lotion and something it's just such oh my god it's an amber amber amberish plumish somewhat muskiest super sweet oh my god i just love that scent so much um conditioner garnier whole blends oat delicacy I tend to get a lot of shampoos and stuff at like Ross and drugstores um, just because what they are sort of appeals to me like in some weird way and I'm just like oat, oat delicacy, let's get it. I mean, I never thought of really like putting oats in my hair. Uh, I like Garnier uh, stuff ever since they were one of the sponsors of Project Runway. I used to love, you know, and they would go to the Garnier Fructus Garnier hair salon or whatever. Like, I don't know. I loved getting Garnier things. Um, whole blends. I like the line. I've tried several different things. I love the name because what does that even mean? Whole blends. I mean, either you're fully something or you're a combination of something which would make you a blend. So what the hell does that even mean? Whole blends, but you gotta love it. Um, very nice oat delicacy. It works. It has a, this one has kind of a milky scent because I, what is, oh, it doesn't smell like oatmeal. I mean, that would be kind of strange. Although what does oatmeal really even smell like? Nothing. Uh, it's just kind of a milky, creamy, milky scent. It's nice. I don't have a lot of hair, you know what I'm saying? So whatever, I can use anything. I went through this mouthwash. Listerine Zero Alcohol Green Tea and Mint Blend. Now that's the whole reason I got it was because it's a uh, weird thing, right? Because Listerine, I mean, uh, mouthwash, it's always mint. I mean, some kind of mint, winter mint, spearmint, double mint, minty, minty, mint, or whatever. It's all mint, right? There's never anything else. Um, I guess because like with toothpaste, it's hard to do something without sugar that's gonna have a decent leave a decent taste in your mouth right i guess so it's kind of hard to do like i wish they would do pumpkin spice lattes i mean pumpkin spice mouthwash and pumpkin spice toothpaste or whatever i mean they could i guess it's just kind of difficult um to get something decent at least a decent aftertaste i don't know anyway when somebody goes out on a limb and tries some different kind of mouthwash like i'm gonna get it so 
I've had, I can't remember the one I had previously that they did. They have like three different ones. Um, and I did not like the previous one that they did. It was coconut and lime or something. It was, it did not really taste good. This one was better. I like this better. Green tea and mint. Again, we do have mint, but the green tea element was definitely there. It did give it a little bit of a different uh, flavor, a different aftertaste, whatever. So I was happy with this. They had another one I saw, I was at Walmart the other day and they happened to have it, but it was expensive. Another flavor. Um, it was like almost $8 and I just thought, eh, I don't want to try it that bad, but I do want to try it. Um, okay, I have to show you this. Now this is not commercially available. You can't buy this now, but um, when we had uh, the, went in the, the first wave of COVID and the coffee shop I work at, mom and pop coffee shop, Banyan Breeze closed down, for a while then they reopened but it was just the owner and her daughter working because it was like so dead here it was just so dead um so the rest of us didn't go back to work for a while and it was just them and they were just doing something you know things to sell something and they came up with that, this idea which was a great idea and i kind of wish they would start doing it again i have mentioned it was that, that they would make coffee scrub out of their coffee grounds um, and they would add like whatever oils and I don't know what all they did to it, but they, then they got these little jars and they made coffee scrub that they sold. This was, I had a vanilla coffee scrub, which they gave me some to try. And, uh, this was amazing. Oh my gosh. I loved this stuff. I mean, you just, you know, scrub it on, exfoliate with it, shower it off. Definitely would do it in the shower because it's heavy. Like I don't, I don't think at the sink it would work. It would be really hard to get it all off, but definitely do it in the shower. And, uh, oh, smelled so good. It smells so good. It was just very rich and goopy and it was, I loved it. I loved using this stuff and it's, it was so good. And then I had like maybe of a quarter of the jar left and I was reaching one time to set it out on the counter from the shower. Like I shouldn't have done that, but like it was halfway in and halfway out, you know, and you reach and set something on the counter because I didn't want to leave this in and have it get all wet and whatever in the shower. And it just hit, dropped off the edge of the counter and it hit the ground. It didn't break, but it was so funny that I mean it wasn't that funny at the time but well it was it was so weird like it the remainder of it like didn't stay in the container at all it's like spewed out of the glass went all over the wall in the bathroom but it actually went all the way out into the hallway past the bathroom on the far wall in the hallway from the bathroom like that stuff like catapulted across the apartment onto the wall. I'm like, how in the world? <laughs> anyway, so I didn't get to use the last of it, but they have been talking about doing it again. And I hope they would, because it is kind of a cool gift to take back from Hawaii somewhere. And, you know, made here, made by us and uh, really good stuff. And I was saying, well, maybe you could use like coconut oil and make coconut vanilla or macadamia nut oil or something, whatever. It was great. Um, I used up, just went through one uh, lavender coconut bath and body works. This is such a nice scent too. I love lavender. I love coconut. I'm not hard to please, I have to tell you, really. I mean, bath and body works soaps, pretty much anything you get is gonna be nice, I think. But particularly lavender is very relaxing and it's, it's really nice with the coconut. Um, Pretty container. I really enjoyed this. I sure did. And I used up, uh, oh, another scrub. I've had this one for a long time. It was one I needed to like just use this darn thing. Cause, and I think I'm not, I didn't use it in the right way. Plant, plant, tan, plantanicles. Plantanicles is the brand from raw, I got this at Ross for like, yeah, $5.99. Charcoal and black mud pore refining face mask. Um, absorbs oils, impurities, environmental pollutants, draws out deep seated debris to purify pores, blah, blah. Um, you're supposed to, what it says here, 
because I did not do this right. Apply uh, face to mask and neck, avoid contact with eyes, leave on for five to seven minutes and then rinse it off. I didn't do that um, because I'm like, I am not doing all that. I'm just, I'm gonna, when I go in the shower, I'm gonna put it on my face and neck when I'm in the shower, first thing, you know, scrub that and leave it on while I do the rest of everything in the shower and then rinse it off at the end. So that's what I did. So it didn't, it probably stayed on my face five minutes or something. But anyway, um, it's weird. There might be a little bit in here. It's kind of weird because it's, it's like gray. I don't know if there's any left or if I squeezed out every little yeah, there's none in here. You can kind of see, but it's actually, it's like, it's gray. Kind of weird to put on your face. Um, but it was, it was good. And it was good because I did, I, my face tends to be kind of oily sometimes. And it did uh, really make it non-oily when I would come out of the shower. Like it would really be not, because sometimes my face, my face, can be kind of a little bit oily like immediately after coming out of the shower already. So it didn't. So uh, yeah, it was good. You know, it was great. I would get it again. Although this kind of stuff to me, if you're getting things at Ross and, and TJ Maxx, which I like to, variety is the spice of life for me. So I tend to not get something I've had before unless it was super, super, super amazing. Um, I just sort of like to just try different things. So I would definitely get scrubs and something again, but probably not that kind, uh, but I might. Then I used up this face cream, Absolute Care 24 Karat Gold Illuminating a Day and Night Cream. Um, yeah, it was fine. Um, it was pretty good, actually. I think I'm using one now that I feel is a little bit oilier, like a little bit too oily. This one was nice, um, didn't make me oily. Absolute Care Luxe. 24 karat gold. I mean, I don't know why you would put gold on your face or if it has any gold whatsoever. I mean, why? I don't even know. Okay, and finally, finally, I used up one Renews It Scent Swirls, which has two different scents swirled into one. It's just amazing. And this one, there it is. Boop. Um, it was Plumeria, Coconut, and Pineapple. That sounds like three things to me. Yeah, Plumeria, Coconut, and Pineapple. Very nice, very Hawaiian, specifically, really. I mean, Plumeria and Coconut and Pineapple. I didn't use these things for a long time, and lately I've started to be using them again because I'm always burning candles and stuff, and I'm like, ah, I always burn something in the bathroom. But I've just come to the conclusion that like no matter how much you clean or no matter how, no matter how much other stuff you do in the bathroom, I don't know. Bathrooms just like they just need some kind of something going on all the time for the scent. Otherwise they just start to smell funky and it just doesn't matter how much you clean them to me. So I started using these things again. I have several and I've been really happy with it. You know, it lasts for, I leave it on kind of heavy, you know, kind of full force, maybe like that. And I'd say they last about three weeks, I think, before it's time to get another one. So that's not too bad. And again, variety is the spice of life. So if they come out with 500 different scents, I'll get 500 different scents. I mean, I'll just, ooh, let me try everything. I try it all. All right, those are my empties. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. That was kind of long, my God. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you've had any of these products or any experience with them, please uh, leave that in the comments below. Subscribe if you want to see more and uh, check out my radio station. The links are gonna be down below also. Have a good week. We will see you guys later. The next video up, which should be up pretty soon, uh, will be another cheap lounge episode. I think we're up to 19, I think. I think. Anyway, talk to you later.